Hello everyone, I am back with a Japan crate. I just got done recording the Doki Doki crate and I'm going to open up the Japan crate. I opened it a little bit to kind of look at the book, but I didn't really go through it, so let's see what we get. So we're going to pull out the book here. Ah, this box never likes to stay open on me. So I'm just going to, so here's the, it is volume 14 of the Japan Great for August. So when you open it up, it's got your index, um, your contest, which I actually need to start making videos on the DIYs. You got your um, little manga strip that they kind of add in here, which I actually really enjoy this. I have a couple of them that I need to go back and I just need to read through them. I've kind of been slacking because I've been really busy. Um, and then you get everything here. So you have three different ones, your mini, your original, and your premium. I get the premium, which comes with everything. On the next page, it always has certain, not, not all of the candies, but specific ones that are geared towards um, Japan or something that's popular. They always put in a little something that kind of talks about that candy or treat. Here is the Sugoi Crate. It comes with the Sony PlayStation 4, um, the No Man's Sky Bundle, uh, Taro, Paki... Um, ooh, an Alphonse B in a full alchemist. Oh, that's so cool. Super Mario maze. Um, and a science lab kit. And a Shin Chan plushie. Um, I wish I was lucky enough to get a Sogoi crate because I've actually been really wanting uh, a PS4. It's really funny that a PS4 was actually in the, in the Sogoi crate. Um, because I've noticed that there was some games coming out that's only for the PS4 and I have a Xbox 360. I used to have a bunch of Playstations, but for some reason we kind of switched over the Xbox. I don't know why. Just kind of happened. And then if you go um, on to the other things, it talks about how um, what things come up in August in Japan. And then it always has a little bit of um, Japanese. So science is Rika. Uh, nostalgic, Natsukashi. And this candy has a nostalgic taste. Kono kashi na natsukashi aji ga suru. Now I'm sure that's more um, fluent, like more like fluid um, when a Japanese person is saying, but I am learning Japanese. So anyone who sees this who speaks Japanese, I am sorry if I bridged it, but I am still learning. I'm actually self teaching myself. And then on the back, it talks about your drink uh, DIY kit, and there is all the pictures which sometimes I do um, post some sometimes I don't I have it the last couple of months so let's just go back to the middle of this and let's dive into the crate shall we so let's just grab one so what do we got here um, we got a soda sour gummy uh, it's a cola paper candy so here it says, it is, come on, uh, sour cola pepper candy, sour gummy uh, belts are always a favorite and these come in cola flavor. Can peel off the strips from the belt lengthwise and enjoy strip by strip. So kind of like a Twizzler is what it sounds like, but cola flavored. Um, e. So here is the DIY. Uh, thing that's in here. Where does it talk about it uh, in the book though? Experimental drink. Grand Chin Chin is playing the role of a mad scientist in his lab of candy. Mix the different elements in the flask to create a mysterious and tasty cola flavor. So you just kind of play around with it. This will be fun. I really need to get my DIYs together. Maybe we make a giant video or make a DIY video that does a couple of them at once because some of them are very simple. Maybe I'll get my brother-in-law to do it with me. That'll be so much fun. Ooh, they've been there's been chocolate ones of these in here. I'm excited about this one. This is um Sitori Matcha. Sitori means soaked, and these delicious puffs are soaked in a sweet matcha sauce. Um, matcha is like a green tea. So it's green tea flavored like little cake things. If you've watched my past videos, there's been chocolate ones of these. 
these are actually soft and they have a nice like liquid it's not hard it's very very um really like soft and good and it actually is very surprising let's see what do we have here Sakugori. it's a biscuit uzuyaki cookie crunchy uzuyaki means thin so it's a thin cookie Sorry, I'm like reading it off to the side. It is a thin cookie, so the snack gives you a creamy chocolate filling sandwich between two thin crisp biscuits. That sounds really yummy. Mmm, mmm. It looks really good. And we have here. I don't know if I can find this one. Sometimes I can. Oh! Uh, Sankaku vegetable crackers. Uh, Sankaku means triangle, which explains why these crackers come in cute triangular shapes. Where they're great by themselves, the vegetable flavor also pairs well with toppings like cheese. Hmm. Can't wait to try those. There's a lot in this crate this time. Um, Oh, they've given these these to us before. Uh, Kiabatsu Taru. Uh, they're brown sauce flavored, like Taiyaki sauce or Worcestershire sauce, with a sprinkle of nori flakes. So it's like a Worcestershire sauce flavored uh, chip, sprinkled with um, nori, so seaweed. So I would share these with my husband because I can and my brother-in-law because I can never eat them myself. Um, this one is Natsukashi Ramune. It's a candy that is ramune filled. Uh, it has a powder feel and it dissolves in your mouth. And it's in like a bottle. And Mokutsu. Uh, this is a chewing candy. Uh, chewing gum. Japanese public trash bins hard to find and spitting gum on the street is frowned upon. This is why it's more common to find chewy candies in Japan. Mogoju offers a sweet strawberry flavor with a nice chew to take the place of gum. Oh, these have come in here before. These are, um, they're just sugar crystals. They're really good. Um, I don't know if they have, like, I actually don't see them on the thing, but they're sugar crystals. Like if you've have, if you've had like rock candy on a stick, that's what these taste like. We've got a drink. I always love that it comes with drinks. Um, that's actually why I get the premium crate because they do come with drinks. And this one is Wakagama Mikan Soda. So a seedless and easily peeled citrus fruit. So it's citrus citrus soda. My phone really hates the glare and stuff today. Sorry that it's not focusing very well, guys. Mmm, is this lemon? I love lemon. Yes, this is hard lemon candy. Um, everything flavored lemon that I get that's a Japan candy, I absolutely love. It's always really, really good. This one is Mitarashi Fumi Kibi Dango. It's a bonus item. Um, Seidatashi dango is a well-known traditional sweet in Japan, similar to mochi. Dango are rich, or I'm sorry, are rice cakes that are put on skewers and covered with sweet and salty soy sauce. Ooh, I can't wait to try that. I'll have to share it with someone, that way I don't eat the whole thing. Oh, this is like a cracker or something. Ooh. I accidentally crushed some of it. Um, this one is Yaokin Fugashi. It's sponge-like, airy texture uh, with a crunchy, sweet coating of black sugar. Fugashi is a simple and tasty retro dagashi snack. One Japan Crate staff member described this as eating a cloud. So that'll be fun to try. 
this is clearly pizza flavored. And I hear pizza in Japan is very different than pizza in America. So this is special pizza flavored Texas corn. JC and Anko tried their hand at mad science to make pizza and ended up with these. Texas corn is a brand of chip in Japan and is in this month's crate. So it'll be interesting. And we got a giant bag of chips. This bag is Tohato Mamesupi chips. Mamesupi chips have a toasted pea flavor with a hint of salt and a big crunch. Uh, I don't really like peas, but I'm interested in trying this. So I can't wait, but that's it guys. That's everything that was in here. Um, I, you know, maybe I will try some of these on camera for you guys. And maybe I'll have me and my brother-in-law do it just to have two reactions. Um, I'm not sure, kind of, been, I work a lot in my day, um, so it's kind of hard to do some of this. And I have a lot of DIYs that I kind of want to do that comes in these boxes. Um, so I'll see kind of what I can get done for you guys. Um, if you like this, please give a thumbs up. If you have any questions, uh, post down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that I have encouraged you to get one of the boxes. Alright guys, thank you. Have a great rest of the day.